Hi, this is Ebony, and welcome to Going Deeper with Seesaw. Seesaw is a great tool that supports student engagement, and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create and assign activities, review student work, and share student work with parents. If you're just getting started with Seesaw, then you'd want to check out our Getting Started with Seesaw video for more support. When creating activities in Seesaw, you can browse the activity library to get ideas. We do that by going into the Activities tab and then going into Browse Activity Library. This is where you can check out the collections or search activities by grade level, subject, or keyword. As you search through those activities, when you find an activity that you would like to use with your students, you can tap on it and then you heart it. Once you tap on the heart icon, you immediately get a pop-up box that gives you the option to go ahead and assign it to your class if you would like. But then you have some other options here on these three dots. We can either add it to a collection, copy and edit the activity, and for customization, remove it from the library if it's not what we really wanted, or share the activity with other teachers. And adding to a collection, this is a feature that has been added that allows you to, to categorize and organize the activities within your library. So this is a math assignment, so I want to create a, a collection called Math, and I'm going to add this activity to Math. Also, I might want to customize it a little bit. So if I copy and edit it, it gives me the options to go in and make any changes to the instructions or the template that is attached. If I whatever changes I wanted to make, let's say I want to take out this part of the title, I can save it, and now it's in my library and I can go in and assign it if I'd like. The next thing, after we've looked at some and we want to create, our, the next thing we may want to do is create our own activity for students. So we're just going to tap Create New Activity. We're going to name it, and then we're going to also add some instructions. So I'm going to do a sort for on living and non-living things. And so I have my instructions ready to go. I'm going to copy and paste those in. And what you also notice is how I've used these codes here. And Seesaw has done a really good job with their Seesaw icon shortcuts, and they have it available for you to go in and just copy and paste so you, that you can get the images for kids um, to help them with navigating Seesaw and the tools. So you also have options to add voice instructions, uh, multimedia instructions, or even an example. But we're going to look at a template. So they've done some updates to their template so that you can make activities a little more interactive for kids. So we're going to go into do a drawing. And we're going to create a sort by adding categories and multiple images. So I want to do now living. And then we're going to tap living. And so I can easily go in. I'm going to add and upload some images. And so now those images appear for students. So when they are ready, they can go in and do an interactive sort. We tap the check mark, and our activity is ready. Tap save. And now we're ready to assign. And now when we get ready to assign, we can either assign it to the entire class, or we can go in and assign it to specific students if we want to differentiate that assignment. So now that we've assigned it, now we want to review student work. So once students, we're going to go back to our class. So once students have turned in work after they have added responses, it is easy to go in and review it and give students feedback. When you tap on the assignment or the activity, you can easily go in and see the thumbnails for each student. Tap on a student's work. Even though I don't have any responses yet, you'll easily see that you'll be able to give them feedback and review. Of course, you want to share the amazing things students are doing with parents. You can connect with them by tapping on the Families option down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Then you have the option to print invites or share linked, and this will give them access to only their child's journal so you can celebrate student learning together. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode.